Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zini, and I'm back again like I never left. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're joining me for the very first time, you're highly welcome, guys. I'm sure it's no longer, you know, um, a minor gist that, you know, Sophia went on a lengthy rant. Should I say rant or thread on Twitter? You know, talking about men who are deadbeat fathers, okay? And, you know, for those who do not know Sophia, I'm sure you do, but for those who do not know, Sophia is Davido's first baby mama, and, you know, they both share a child that's Ima D. now a lot of people were saying that oh she was referring to davido because i mean she has a child she has just one child and um she um has that child with davido so if she's talking about men who are dead beats so of course she's referring to her baby daddy and you know it's surprising because we all know davido takes care of his kids he's always passionate about taking care of his kids catering for their welfare and everything you know davido's fans the um 30 bg crew they were like oh it's because davido got married to chill madison that I know others were of the opinion that you know you guys should just let Sophia speak she's not the type of person to come on social media to rant or you know she's always minding her business literally so for her to come out here it means she has had enough already guys oh my god let me show you guys the tweets she made like the several tweets she made on twitter financially bullying a woman into staying with you has got to be the most disgusting thing a man can do especially when children are involved there's got to be a special place in hell for people who intentionally punish innocent children it's been almost a year enough is enough only in nigeria the laws don't protect women and children or children and the men just do the absolute most my goodness the whole system just just stings the amount of women the amount of women going through financial abuse and being forced into silence in nigeria is staggering who speaks for these women who defends them why is it okay for women to keep going through this now the first statement actually got to me financially bullying a woman into staying with you has got to be the most disgusting thing a man can do does it mean that you know davido has been financially bullying her because i don't i don't understand but i feel like maybe she's just you know standing up for this women you know probably she has had one or two friends or it could probably be her you know in this situation and she feels the need to you know talk about it but it the first statement just got to me like okay is she referring to davido is he financially bullying her to stay with him um to stay with him despite the fact that he's with choma you know the thread actually continues why should it be okay for a man to force a woman's to handle his responsibility as a father simply because the woman chooses to move forward and refuses to look back hmm another one honestly it's time to sorrow so kimini it's time to say it as it is because we will opodu ni country that's crazy people people that are mentally deranged are you know too much in this country are a lot you know the enabling the scheming the lies and false narratives enough is enough so many women have had to resort to suicide concerning um this systematic oppression and the ones who chose to be strong for their children are considered stubborn or problematic the crazy thing in all of this is that you will find fellow women dehumanizing these innocent women haba and of course guys i mean they proved her right because there were women of course the videos fans that are women who were literally bashing um sophia trust me i'm of course i'm going to show you guys you know the comments you know now as usual but let's move on to davido he actually replied her you know a savage reply so he was like no vex hmm no vex and then this um picture of him dancing i'm unavailable oh my god and then the next one is i know get time for a while i did ibiza hmm oh my god what is going on exactly what is wrong because i know davido takes care of his kids like his life depends on it so what happened what went wrong a lot of people were like oh he's been spoiling her there was a time i think he bought a hermes bag for her he took her out to ghana you know and all of that so people were like oh when it's rosy we don't hear you you know rant on social media of course his fans were the ones saying this and now it's no longer rosy or the money is no longer forthcoming and in my head i'm like why is the money no longer forthcoming it should always be forthcoming because it's your kid it's not like she's she wants you to take care of her personally but anyway sophia replied and she was like don't you dare cap or am i set it all on fire hey, hey, it's about to go down honey ah, ah. What is exactly happening? What is happening exactly behind the scenes? Uh -uh. 
what does she mean by don't you dare cap or i'ma set it all on fire i feel what she means by that is like i'm going to go like deeper and be more explicit but anyways here are some of the comments on twitter some of you won't listen to what sophia has to say because you're too far up david's ass shippers of chioma and the man who won't stop embarrassing her if you can't relate to people's pain it's better to keep mute as you aren't in their shoes you people are unnecessarily bitter towards sophia that lady is doing a great job you all think being a single mother is easy all the emotional financial and physical damage it does to you is out of this world some days you are tired of everything i am tired of you all to be honest like oh my gosh oh my gosh like how is a sane person because of course if you're making use of social media i feel like you should have some iota of you know you know sense in you you know reasonable thinking basically so how will a sensible person come on social media and be dragging sophia sophia of all people that lady has tried as much as possible out of her way to always mind her business like why can't you guys just listen to her for once without trolling her now wow from the day she got pregnant and delivered imade it has been drama every year imade's birthday is on sunday or monday she knows what she's doing sophia needs to know that davido is now a married man she and her daughter can't get the attention they do get from him again oh my god every year sophia must fight or cause drama on the internet she loves attention too much you can't tell me she doesn't have davido's dad's number david is a married man now she move on she should move on with her drama like i don't understand why i need to contact i don't understand why this person thinks sophia needs to contact davido's father like is davido's father her 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 baby's father do you guys just ah sh gosh like it's not going to be embarrassing for her to call the granddad please i need you to talk to your davido like if she if she for her to come out here to talk don't you guys think you know she has tried that ah jesus you people were on now to do on now to do but anyways moving on not your proving sophia right exactly this particular ghana trip y'all are talking about with or without the video she goes there every december with tiwa and 2021 she was there with this same tiwa before the guy came there with his other baby mama so people are actually saying that oh he um he took her on a trip to ghana and all of that and she's trying to like you know um drag him or wherever wait till so what's with this sophia's rant on the timeline all of a sudden and then the video just tweeted i know day for wahala i did biz ibiza the video now cruise man i know you people will always take it as cruise but this is a lot this is like taking an emotional roller coaster immensely and in other ramifications on this woman and for you guys saying that does she does she not have the videos number don't you think that in all these years you know they've been you know co-parenting they must have established the fact that they need to contact each other when they are troubles but for her to do this it means it has gone out of hand i mean it has literally gone out of hand laughing my ass out at sophia talking about women being used as a pawn when she was used to pepper the other woman she didn't come here to rant but now it's affecting her she has come to involve all of us hmm. sophia twitter mind obio tweet his lyrics insta blog looking for a title to relate both of it together anyways that's um let me just skip the second comment but looking at the first comment what the hell do you mean by sophia is talking about women being used as a pawn when she was used to pepper your, who used sophia to pepper who i'm not even trying to be like you know taking sides i'm not trying to take sides or whatever because i'm not a sophia fan i'm not um individuals fan i just love his music but i'm not like his you know staunch fan and everything but what the hell is this like so she should not talk she should not talk about things like this when situations arise like ah you guys you guys but anyways um she know rambo's um baby mama or ex-wife yeah that's um shina rambo is davido's cousin she was also talking about the same thing after this whole drama happened yesterday now she she um posted this on her instagram story it says women bashing women is the most disgusting thing i've ever seen because why does um criticizing another another make you a better person y'all need to stop this nonsense the bitterness is unbelievable what happened to women supporting women bra excuse me ma'am women supporting women 
ease in the mood like i established that fact in my head already i'm not even expecting any woman to support me because i know it's in the mud deep in the mud it's crazy how when you go on the twitter timeline you would see that the um let me say 85 percent of the negative comments there on sophia are from women trust me guys it's literally from you know the women and it's it's like what's up what's happening let me tell you guys something eh this whole women supporting you never say men supporting men it's women that brought about the whole narrative of women supporting women yet it has never you know been a reality that's always been a, a fallacy do you get what i mean like i'm not even looking forward to any woman supporting me if it happens fine if it doesn't happen it's not something that i'm expecting from any woman except you know my family do you get what i mean but women supporting women now nah, it will be always women that would troll and you know heap insults and tr and you know heap negative comments on fellow women it's like you when you see a woman better than you it icks you it gets you so uncomfortable this is my gender is only god that will help us but anyways let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you really think about sophia do you think it's appropriate for her to air her mind maybe she has tried to reach out to davido or not do you think it's okay for her to like bring out their personal issues she didn't even bring out anything personal because she didn't mention names but yeah i get the fact that she's davido's baby mama and she has just one child with him and you know a lot of people be like okay yes definitely she's referring to david but at least let's just give her a benefit of doubt and spare her the trolls okay thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section let us just let's do amiibo and apoko as usual thank you so much for watching once again please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and of course turn on your post notification guys to be notified when i post a new video it's zini honey it's zini honey with undiluted gist as usual see y'all in my next video bye